Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here and today I'm gonna be doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Um, I've never bought makeup from the Dollar Tree ever um, or like the dollar store in general. I've obviously buy makeup from the drugstore. I mean, it's because they have really good makeup and <laughs> I mean, it does the trick. But I've never tried makeup from the dollar store so this will definitely be interesting um i don't know if i'll be able to find my shade in anything but we're gonna have to like go with like the closest one um i did just um self tan so i am tanner than i normally would be so i don't have any makeup on right now so let's head to the dollar tree let's get it I just finished getting all my stuff. So this is all the stuff that I got. Like tons of stuff, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 items. I just cannot believe the dollar store is actually a dollar. I literally got all this stuff for 13.78, 13.78. Here we are, ready to film. So, let me pin my hair up. I, um, I found a beauty blender there. I'm used to like beauty blenders being soft and this one is like hard. So, we'll see how this goes. Okay, let me make my little bash bag. It's gonna be so ugly. To start off, I'm going to be using Smoothing Face Primer by LA Colors. Um, they only had the <laughs> they only had the cool pink one, which brightens complexion, so that's fine. I'm going to try it. I'm really scared to use primers because if I use something that's too mattifying, it will like actually make my makeup look awful. So, ooh, this is scary. Okay, this is like pink. Is it making my face look red? I feel like it's kind of moisturizing. Is that making my face literally pink? I see it. It's making my face pink. Shut up. Do you guys see that? It's literally making my face pink. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. This is like really weird beauty blender. Okay. <laughs> So far, this is awful. Okay. Okay. I got a BB cream because I that's all I wear is like um tinted moisturizer and BB cream plus this is all I had really. Oh my god, that's really dark. Is that dark? It's kind of dark. I don't know why I'm applying it like this. It's probably really bad. Oh my god, I've got a lot on. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I kind of hate it. I can't, I can barely see because it's really nice. So like, right. Okay. I feel like this isn't bad. This is like good. I probably wouldn't use this beauty blender because I feel like it's soaking it all up, but. Okay. It's probably enough. We don't need any more. Let's take it down the neck though. Okay. Okay. I kind of like that, to be honest. I love a good BB cream. It's like super dewy and I like it. 
I can't really tell on this, can you? Can you like see it? I don't know. Okay, I'm really scared for this concealer because it is kind of dark. They didn't have a light concealer, so. Okay, do you see how dark it is? It is so dark. What is the rest? Oh, we got LA colors again. Uh, okay. It looks lighter on here. It applies really smooth though. Should we even like try and highlight because it blends in to the foundation or the BB cream? Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's try. It's the color nude. Like, is it nude lighter than this? I don't know. This beauty blender is so hard. It's like, you can't blend anything with it. I feel like I just look really, like, tan, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so next, we're gonna do a contour stick. Um, we're gonna contour from LA Colors again. So, let's try this. Okay. <laughs> I like don't know how to contour, like cream contour to save my life, so don't come for my head. It could turn out good, you know? I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup. It's not bad. I think we need to add a little bit more to everywhere. I feel like it kind of um, balanced out my <laughs> made it look better. I don't know. Okay. I don't really cream contour. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with some powder by Color Matte Mates. Mats. Color Mats. Color Mates. I don't know. It's kind of light. So. Okay. Not. Not bad. I mean, it's not terrible looking. Okay, what next? Oh, we have some highlight by LA Colors. Look at LA Colors just killing it. All this stuff. It's pretty, it's shimmery, and nice looking. Okay. Oh my god, it looks really bad. It like has like. It literally looks like glitter threw up on my face. Can you even see? I'm trying to like take it off, but don't put too much. <laughs> you go out and get this. Don't put too much. Okay, let's do eyeshadow. So I got LA Colors <laughs> again eyeshadow in some like warm tones. So I think I'm going to do this color in the crease. Or like the outer corners? I don't know. Maybe I'll do this. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll wing it. Okay. We're just going to put a shade in the outer corners because there's no like um, crease color. So we're just going to put this one in the outer corner. It's not really... Blending well. I mean, it's a nice color. I mean, I, I really like these colors to be honest. Okay, let's kind of like blend this Blend this out Okay Next I'm gonna go in and put this color all over my leg it looks really bad. <laughs> it's like not terrible. I mean, it's not the best. Just 
not blending really well, so it looks like kind of harsher. I found an eyeliner, so by LA Colors. Again, okay. Came with two, which is nice. It also doubles as a brow pencil, but my hair is not black, so. That's sharp, that could kill someone. <laughs> they sharpened their pencils. I'm gonna like rub it out, just so it doesn't like poke my eye out. Cause I do it on my waterline. It's not really like sticking on my waterline. Okay, I mean, it's not really sticking. So, so far I rate that eyeliner like, a one out of 10. I mean, it probably does a good job like on a non-wet surface, like not your waterline. Now I'm using some mascara from Wet n Wild. I mean, it's good at lengthening. It's just not giving me the volume that I want. I needed to get a Q-tip because it's like getting everywhere. Like, can you even, I mean, it gives you length, but I just like, like more volume rather than length in my mascara because I don't have like voluminous lashes. Just gonna put a little on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go into the other eye. I just wish I had the eyeliner on. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. This eyeliner, cause... And it's not doing anything. Okay, whatever, we give up on that eyeliner. It's going in the trash after this. I don't like this mascara, like at all. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. Um, next, we have two more steps, so got a brow pencil and I'm really scared because I can never find my color in a brow pencil and this is really, really, really dark. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, this is really dark. How are we looking? I just don't even know. I put way too much highlighter on, it's like glistening. Okay, this isn't bad. I mean, this isn't like too dark. Like if you go with like a light hand. Okay, next one. Should we try the highlighter? I mean, it's not bad, actually. The highlighter is actually like really nice and subtle. Um, I mean, overall, the brows don't look like that bad. My face just looks beat up. Okay, last but not least, we're doing lip gloss. It has, it's vitamin E enriched. We love a vitamin enriched lip gloss, don't we? Thin. Okay, I got this color, so we'll see. I just ran out of memory because I didn't delete my a lot of my videos. Uh, so I had to delete some. It's not like bad. Like overall, it's like a pretty nice, nice quality makeup looks. It's just like for one, the the highlighter is like very. It's like I put too much. Maybe I just put too much on, but um, I don't like that. I don't like the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are like, they don't blend well. Like the colors are like not bad. They're nice. Um, the mascara is fine. It's good for lengthening. Um, the eyebrow pencil isn't bad. I might like, I might actually keep it. I don't really all in all, like the products aren't that bad. So I like, 
I'm really surprised and shocked like how like how like well these products like lay on my skin um I don't know how they wear and I'm kind of scared to like test and see how they wear um for the whole day but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm gonna like honestly like go wash my face off and like remove all this makeup and like put on my like usual all in all this is like a super fun experience and I actually really enjoyed um testing out like new like products that are actually like all in all like all of these products were $13.78 so it's like really cheap to like wear makeup and I think you can make like dollar store makeup like look really good and work for you um yeah I mean I don't think the products are that bad so I'm surprised to be honest um how well these products are or like how well they they work um so yeah some of them I really like this lip gloss too so I might keep it I mean I'm gonna keep like all these products I'll probably throw out the mascara and like this face primer because I don't like it at all I didn't like how it like sat um the powder isn't that bad it would be good to like keep in your car just to like touch up throughout the day um this beauty blender um this will be going in the trash but um i hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me trying doing like a full face of makeup from the dollar store um <laughs> i mean it's doable it's possible to do makeup on a budget so that's nice because makeup can be really expensive and it's nice to know that you can find like some of some great products that are from the dollar store i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what type of videos you want to see don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye